What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing. We're going to be doing a first look at the Atlas 4.0 by Ruroc. This is my first Ruroc helmet. I've only ever had a Simpson and a half beanie helmet. So I'm really excited to get into this. Let's get to it. All right guys, here it is. So first impression of the box, it's really nice. It's really cool. It's a matte black. Um, as you can see, it's got that Ruroc there and like a nice glossy finish. I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. And uh, I'm really digging the whole design that they've got going on here in the inside. Um, designed and engineered in the United Kingdom. So there's that. Let me go ahead and pull it out for you guys. So let's look at what we got in here. So look at the box. I think it's really cool. I love the design they got going in here. We got some mountains here and open, uh, open road there. Uh, you get this as well, to be honest. I'm not in entirely sure what this is for um so i guess we'll figure that out together all right guys so let's start with this um they do send you two visors one is going to be clear which i'm assuming is on the helmet because that's how companies usually do it and then this one i'm going to guess yes it is the tinted visor now i don't know of any other companies who send you two visors uh, one clear and one tinted. I know a lot of people love tinted. That's what I got on my Simpson Mod Bandit. Um, and the fact that they give you this one with the purchase of the helmet, that's really cool. So honestly, you can't really beat that. These go for like 70 bucks typically. All right guys, so now what we're all waiting for why we clicked on this video, here it is. I just want to touch on this material that the helmet and the visor come in. It is really, really, really soft. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like suede, but suede, silky, kind of. You guys ready? Boom, look at that. Oh my goodness. What? Guys, this is the first time I've, I've, I've seen this in person. I haven't opened it yet. I didn't cheat. It's, it's really light. I know it's carbon fiber, but I've never had a carbon fiber helmet before. And I'm pretty shocked at like how light this is. Guys, look, it's pretty much a match. I mean, look at this. So I'm, I'm really excited to get this on the road and test it. I'm actually gonna keep this on here because I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna replace it with the tinted visor because that's what I'm gonna ride with anyways. So just to keep this clear one protected. Oh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right guys, so we went ahead and changed the visor. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of took me a while. Um, honestly, I kind of had to use just some force and tilt the visor up a little bit and maneuver this side the way I wanted to or whatever side you have in first. And then I locked them both in and they both seem to be locked in. So I'm not really worried about it now. But anyways, just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you guys. I've never owned a helmet that wasn't a modular uh, for a full face. So putting this on is gonna be new to me. So I might struggle a bit. Guys, before we put it on, um, I do wanna note that on the bottom here, it is a magnetic release. So you just have to pull this, I believe, and then it comes undone. And then once you put it back on, just do that. You won't ever have to worry about it coming undone unless you pull this red tab. And if you were ever in an accident, uh, an EMS would be able to pull this off. And I believe it just removes this from your helmet shell so that they're not, you know, increasing the risk of injuring you even more. So let's go ahead and put it on. Hey, what's going on guys? So it's been about two weeks since the last time I recorded. Um, the plan was to have this video up much, much sooner, but unfortunately I didn't do my due diligence and I did not measure my head when I ordered the Ruroc 4.0, uh, the Atlas. Uh, I actually went based off of my Simpson Mod Bandit helmet, which those sizes obviously do not match up at all not even close. Do your due diligence, guys. Make sure you measure your head uh, from about right here, just above your eyebrows, just all the way around. And you're gonna wanna use a fabric measuring tape. Um, I found that it was a lot easier to go by the centimeters versus the inches, especially if you fall like I do. I fall right in the middle between the size. So I had to get the ML, which is I believe probably medium large. Do your due diligence and measure your head so you don't have to wait an extra two weeks to get your helmet. Previously, um, the helmet still looks the same. I got the same one, just a different size. I actually went ahead and took off the static little paper that goes around the visor, um, which I'm glad I, I kept it on because I was able to return it 
And if you ever run into that issue, keep everything on, keep the tags on so that you can return it. Since we've already been through the helmet, guys, um, I do want to talk a little bit about the customer service. So the customer service is actually not bad at all. Um, I was kind of worried about whether or not I was going to receive the correct size for my helmet, how they were going to respond to me. They responded very promptly to me. They were not disrespectful in any way. I can assure you, like, I had no problem with Rurock and their customer service. So for me personally, in my experience, it's a five stars all, all day, every day. I haven't been able to ride with this helmet yet. I will make a review near in the near future and later in the future uh, to give you guys a real review on this helmet because I, I wanna make sure that down the line, this is gonna serve me and serve you guys well. So there is a couple stops um, that they offer the notches. They feel really nice and solid. We're gonna open up all the way. Two right there, I just went past two, three, four, and then all the way down and you're gonna lock it. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with this ever flying up in the wind. I've never had an issue with my Simpson. I just really wanted something to match the bike because if you can't tell, this match is just, it is perfect. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some nice shots of this beauty for you guys and uh, I'll see y'all out there. Peace.